in this session let us uh, calculate some problems on efficiency and let us derive equation for maximum efficiency also okay means in our last session we discussed that efficiency maximum maximum will happen when core loss equal to copper loss i2 square r2 okay now in this case like you know this is going to be i2 one thing i have to tell you means my variable loss variable loss will vary depending upon the loading but core loss will be always constant so the moment core loss are always constant core loss will be always constant copper losses will vary so max efficiency will occur when copper losses equal to core loss but full load copper loss if it is here core loss cannot be changed so at max efficiency my losses will be two times core losses but not two times copper losses so at max efficiency at efficiency maximum okay means my losses is going to be two times core loss okay now here by this equation core loss equal to copper loss i2 at which max efficiency occur equal to core loss divided by re2 under root okay for this let me add rated voltage or base value of voltage here rated voltage equation will remain same okay and again let me add base value of current which is nothing but full load current so base value of current in this is full load current here in the root ifl square so equation is going to be now into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kva at which max efficiency occur equal to kva rated into under root of core loss divided by full load copper loss okay so core loss we are going to get in oc test copper loss full load we have to calculate from sc test okay again sc test may be conducted under full load condition or may not be conducted under full load condition because from sc test we are going to derive linear parameters so we have to cross check whether they conducted the test at full load conditions or not now kva at which max efficient sector divided by kva rated is nothing but kva base will give you kva at which max efficient sector per unit Okay, the actual value divided by base value will give you core loss divided by copper loss full load. Okay, so this equation has to be remembered. Okay, means even if you forget in your exam also, you know this. From this, just one step ahead, that's it. Now let us solve some problems upon this. In this problem, a single phase transformer has no load loss of 64 watt. No load loss in the sense, core loss as obtained from an open circuit test when sc test is performed on it at with 90 percent of rated currents with 90 percent because sc test can be conducted at any value of current so he is conducting his sc test at 90 percent of rated current flowing in its both lv and hv windings the measured loss is 81 watt so my copper loss are going to be 81 watt at 90 percent the transformer has maximum efficiency when operated at okay so means kva yeah, to which max efficiency occur in percentage or in per unit equal to under root of core loss divided by copper loss full load okay now in this how much is core loss 64 watt divided by how much is copper loss copper loss they have given 81 watt at 90 percent of rated currents at 90 per, but here i want to call i want to have at full load conditions at 90 percent of full load 81 watt at full load it should be increased by square times because copper loss directly proportional to current square so at 90 percent 81 watt at 100 percent it should be increased it means that 81 divided by 0.9 square will be increased this is going to be 100 watt copper loss full load so it is going to be 100 watt under root out of top 8 will come out of uh, in the denominator 10 will come so 0.8 per unit or 80 percent of rated current okay means uh, in this way we can solve the problem and let us see the next problem in the next problem a single phase transformer has maximum efficiency of 90 percent at full load and unity power factor efficiency at half full load at the same power factories okay Actually, in uh, I think maybe four or five years back in ISRO, they have given one question in single phase, uh, sorry, a single phase transformer has maximum efficiency they did not give directly. A single phase transformer have efficiency of 90% at full load, at half full load, how much they asked. 
okay means by upcoming problems you will come to know for efficiency calculations like you know what are the things we have to calculate copper loss load we have to calculate and core loss we have to calculate so two variables has to be calculated so two operating points they have to give if they give two operating points upcoming problems we will see if they give two operating points we can calculate efficiency at any other point because two variables has to be calculated so two equations has to be formed but they can give only one operating point that should be max efficiency point okay now I means in the upcoming problems you will come to know anyway now see here max efficiency 90 percent of full load it is occurring max efficiency of 90 percent at full load at full load unity power factor so at full load you are going to get maximum efficiency okay now what is efficiency efficiency equal to output by output plus losses now how much will be the losses losses equal to means output by output plus losses output by efficiency minus output so this will give you 1 by efficiency minus 1 into output okay now here let me calculate losses at full load and full load is also max efficiency point is going to be 1 by efficiency 1 by 0.9 minus 1 1 by efficiency minus 1 into output they did not give any rated capacity it means that we can go with per unit actually some 30 students finally students like you know they will have a bit of small difficulty in per unit quantities let me tell you one thing <coughs> if you consider va rated as one okay maybe 10 kva 20 kva 100 kva will be there no in that way va rated if you consider as one va rated means everything fall in place in per unit quantities so what is va rated 1 va full load that is full load at unity power factor unity power factor will give you 0 0.1111 okay now losses at full load total losses at full load is going to be core loss plus copper loss full load equal to 0 0.1111 now at max efficiency core loss equal to copper loss so core loss equal to copper loss means that core loss equal to copper loss full load equal to 0 0.1111 by 2 now let me calculate efficiency at half full load at half full load unity power factor equal to output by output plus losses so what is output is going to be half full load so half full load is VA rated is going to be 1 into power factor they ask 1 divided by output plus how much is core loss core loss is going to be constant loss 0 0.1111 by 2 plus now copper loss full load is something copper loss at half full load will be it should be reduced by square time so half square square no i square r okay into 0 0.1111 by 2 okay so this is going to be coming to 87.8 percent so answer will be 87.8 and in upcoming session we will solve many problems also